What's going on everyone? Back with another video. I'm trying to upload as much as possible to keep my channel going and relevant, even if it's, you know, in the grand scheme of things, pretty irrelevant. I'm making a video today on why YouTube is broken. You might think, Jacob, you're really milking this live stream ban. You're, you're darn right I'm gonna milk this live stream ban because it is ridiculous. But you know what's even more ridiculous? A little guy like me who tries his hardest, who tries to be a good person, gets banned for 90 days for streaming like 30 seconds of Shrek. When you've got on YouTube right now, I guarantee it, we're gonna look it up, we're gonna do it together. On YouTube right now, there's probably like t at least 10 live streams of content that doesn't belong to people and they're probably not shut down. We'll just go right here. Let's type in Fairly Odd Parents. I've seen Fairly Odd Parents shows um, stream before. So look, Fairly Odd Parents live right now. You got Family Guy Live 24 7 streaming Fairly Odd Parents, 240 people watching. You've got Emily Corkery streaming Fairly Odd Parents. Look, it says Fairly Odd Parents live stream HD 24 7. 307 people watching. Do you really think Emily owns the rights to Fairly Odd Parents? Do you think that Family Guy Live owns the rights? No, they don't. Let's keep going though. King of the Hill, that's another popular one. King of the Hill. Let's see if anybody's streaming. Look, two people. Whisk. He's streaming it twice. He's got eight peop eight, 805 people watching one, and he's got 124 people watching the other. Oh, look. And further down, he's got American Dad. 24-7 live stream of American Dad. Does Whisk own American Dad or King of the Hill? Highly unlikely. Why is his stream still up? And mine not. I'm sorry, Whisk, if you're watching this. No hate on you, man. I love King of the Hill. I appreciate you streaming King of the Hill because some people can't watch King of the Hill. But that's beside the point. I got banned for 30 seconds of Shrek. But all these people are streaming King of the Hill. Fairly Odd Parents. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Bob's Burgers. I saw that one last night too. Bob's Burgers. Boom. Live stream. Emily Beach. She was the one streaming last night. Emily Beach doesn't own Bob's Burgers, doesn't own the rights. Look, you can tell I watched it too, because I wanted to see 397 people watching. How are they getting away with this? How did I get caught within seconds streaming Shrek, and these people have apparently been streaming TV shows they don't even own 24-7, and their streams are still up? That, to me, is ridiculous. YouTube, you got to fix this. That's not okay. If they can do it, why can't I? If I get shut down, why don't they? I understand life's not fair, but what have I ever done wrong? I'm complaining here. I'm going to stop complaining. But there's a second part to this. Not only are people like here streaming uh, Bob's Burgers, King of the Hill, right? They have hundreds of viewers. That's fine. I understand people like King of the Hill, whatever. But let's look at like another big problem with YouTube right now is i mean fortnite's popular okay so i'm not blaming anybody for for doing this right it's popular but look if you type in fortnite funny moments you got top 10,000 funniest and pro and fails moments in fortnite 1.1k people watching this the dindy show i've seen this stream like live look he's right here he's got two streams going right now a thousand viewers and 250 viewers. I guarantee you, this Dendy Show guy doesn't own any of the rights to these videos. He probably took all of these compilations from like BCC, from Daily Fortnite Battle Royale moments, from Fortnite Gang, from who, whoever else. BCC trolling, Fortnite addiction highlights, Red Arcade. 20 million views on this video. 20 million views. So this guy is taking content that doesn't belong to him, streaming it live, and getting thousands of viewers when there are hardworking, small streamers out there streaming to like five people. And I get it, right? Not everybody is funny. Not everybody is good at Fortnite. Not everybody is entertaining to watch. But really? A thousand people watching this guy right now, or this person, this person's live stream of stolen clips when you've got people like this guy, Adonis over here, who grinds and streams every night 
and is a really good Fortnite player. Shout out to Adonis. Or you got people like my man Sharp right here, right? Sharp never has a thousand people watching him. Why? Why does this stream have a thousand a thousand people watching when hardworking people don't? And I think that's another big problem of YouTube. It goes along with copyright too, right? I streamed 30 seconds of Shrek and got a 90-day ban, but this person is streaming clips that don't belong to him and apparently has like a 24-hour, seven-days-a-week stream because I've seen the Dendy show live for like the past three days. I don't even know why it's on my recommended, but yeah, that's not cool, right? Another thing, I don't know if it's gonna if it's gonna work out, but the other day I was on YouTube Gaming. Uh, how do I? I don't even know how to get to gaming, honestly. Uh, gaming, right here. I was on YouTube Gaming, and so on YouTube Gaming you can sort it by like it, it shows you top live games Fortnite, right? So let's look at Fortnite. Yesterday or two days ago, the top three live streams of Fortnite were those. Fortnite funny moment streams. Okay, we got Nick A. Nick A grinds. Great. The second biggest stream, typical gamer. He deserves it. A man can stream anything and get 10K people watching on a bad day. But then look, the second biggest stream right now, 842 people watching, top thousand funniest moments in Fortnite. Fourth, Fortnite season seven, live countdown, 388 people watching. Why? Why aren't these streams shut down? Why isn't anybody talking about this? Like, there has to be something YouTube can do. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm Again, I'm probably just complaining. This is another rant video because I'm upset. But this bothers me. It bothers me that the people are getting away with streaming television shows they don't own and streaming Fortnite clips to thousands of people. And I made the mistake of streaming Shrek for like 30 seconds and I'm banned for 90 days. That's not fair. I know life's not fair, but I just want to complain. I hope you guys don't mind me complaining, but it's ridiculous. And I'm kind of honestly fed up with it. Like, how is, how is, how is the copyright system so broken, right? I told you guys before, I've gotten copyrighted for using my own music. I own my own music that I own. I wrote it. I recorded it. I own the rights to it. I paid to put it online and I got copyrighted. Now, granted, that copyright got taken care of because I just said, hey, I own this music. And I proved to them. I showed them proof that I was the like proprietor of that music and it went away. But that's beside the point. I feel and it's not just me. I'm not trying to like say poor me. Uh, I'm, I'm I will admit 100 percent guilt for what I did. I accidentally streamed. Shrek, and that's against their terms of service. I think 90 days is harsh, but I'm okay with, with receiving punishment. You know, if it was a 24-hour ban, a two-week ban even. Okay, fine. That was my mistake. I broke the rules. I messed up. Sure, actions have consequences. But when you have, when I see pe people like this, top thousand funniest Fortnite moments, when I see people streaming Fairly Odd Parents, Bob's Burgers, all of that stuff, and nothing is done about it, like that hurts. That sucks. What does that say to me as a small creator? Because my, I don't have 100,000 subscribers. I don't have 842 people watching my streams that I don't matter, that I can just be stepped on. And I'm, again, I'm, I'm complaining here. I'm ranting, but um, I feel like something needs to be done about this. Like I got shut down in, in 30 seconds, but people streaming Fairly Odd Parents have been live for 47 days. I, I'm honestly half tempted to click on their video and show you how long they've been streaming, but I don't want to get another copyright strike. I don't want to get in trouble again. But you know what? I, I think I have nothing to lose. So let's go. Uh, where's that girl? Emily Beach. Bob's Burgers. She's the one I saw last night. Bob Burger. There's an S in it. All right. Emily Beach. Can we click on her channel, actually? All right. Look. She's got 10 live streams right now. 3,000 subscribers. She's got Bob's Burgers, King of the Hill, Fairly Odd Parents, Bob's Burgers, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Odd Parents, King of the Hill, Bob's Burgers, Fairly Odd Parents. Look at, look, look. How is this channel not shut down? She's got 3,000 subs. 400 watching right there on that Bob's Burgers one. Let's, <coughs> I'm going to click on it. I want to see how long 
This has been live. Let me oh, that's really quick. Streams since November nineteenth. That's like almost a whole month. She's been live streaming and hasn't been shut down. But I did thirty seconds of Shrek. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, this is great. Look, even in her bio, Bob's Burger or her description, Fairly Odd Parents, Rick and Morty, The Loud House. I don't even know what that is. Family Guy, American Dad. Like, she's still. You know, there's people chatting. It's not like she's streaming to nobody. Eight hundred, five hundred people are watching this. No copyright track on her. And look, I, you can't even report it. I was kind of salty last night. I was like, I'm gonna report this video because if she gets, if I get copyrighted, she's gonna get copyrighted. Everybody's getting copyrighted. But look, there's not even a place to report of copyright content that doesn't belong to you. This isn't sexual content. This isn't violent. This isn't hateful. It isn't imminent of physical harm. It isn't harmful, dangerous acts. It's not child abuse. It doesn't promote terrorism. It's not spam or misleading. She's telling you what she's streaming. Infringes on my rights. It doesn't infringe on my rights or caption issues. Even if I click on infringes my rights, it makes me choose. Infringes my copyright, my privacy, other legal claim. I thought, okay, let me click other legal claim. Next, copyright infringement. Someone copied your creation. It's not my creation. Someone is using your trademark. It's not my trademark. It's not defamation. It's not, I guess it could be considered counterfeit content or links to content promoting the sale of fake goods. No, see, that's not even counterfeit or other legal issue. All right, let's keep going. I guess, I guess I could report it. I'm not gonna though. I don't want to be that guy. I'm not salty anymore. I am salty, but I'm not, it's not Emily's fault. It's YouTube's fault. YouTube is broken. YouTube's copyright system needs to be fixed. I don't want to see YouTube adding YouTube stories in the YouTube app. We don't need YouTube stories. We've got Facebook stories. We've got Snapchat stories. We've got Instagram stories. We've got every app has a story. We don't need stories, YouTube. Nobody cares about YouTube stories. What you need to do is fix your algorithm. Fix your algorithm so that everybody gets viewed. It, so that you're not building up bigger and bigger people and burying smaller people. Fix your algorithm. Fix your copyright system. I get that hundreds of millions of hours are uploaded to YouTube every day and you can't have human beings checking every video. I get that. I understand that that job of copywriting stuff is probably really hard and that's why they automated it and it's still probably really hard because obviously stuff falls through the cracks like this Bob Burgers stream, this person's channel. This is ridiculous. You've got 10 live streams of content that does not belong to this person. And somehow these streams are still live and this channel is still active. But people get banned for streaming 30 seconds of a movie. Or it's not even me. I'm just the only example that I know of. Actually, there's another Fortnite player big in the community. His name is Pro Hennis. He got banned for something. He got a 90 day ban for something. I don't know what it was because he like deleted the video and didn't really talk about it. But he got a 90 day ban from streaming too. Probably for the same, like, you know, he streams stuff that didn't belong to him. How can that happen when there's someone like this? And on top of all of that, there's no way to appeal. Like I get, again, I get that. I'm sure there are hundreds of bands that go out every hour and YouTube doesn't have time to sit and go through every ban and talk about it. But I feel like I should have been able to appeal it. I should have been able to present my case. Hey, look, it was an accident. The stream was only up for a few minutes. I deleted it right away. I didn't know like Shrek was playing, whatever. I should have, I, I feel like I should be able to make my case and have the possibility to appeal. Because if I tried to appeal it and they said, I'm sorry, but we're not going to accept your appeal. You still broke the rules. Uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta be careful what you stream, you know, whatever. I would have been fine with that, but I don't even have a chance to explain myself. And on top of that, it's a 90 day ban for a first offense. How is that? Okay. Like, again, I gotta, I gotta pause and take a step back because I'm complaining and I probably sound like a whiny little brat right now, but I'm just frustrated. I feel like 90 days is too harsh especially for a first offense. Like I said, two weeks, that seems kind of harsh, but that also like, I would be okay with that. Two weeks, that's manageable. I could come up with two weeks of live content. I can go stream on Facebook for two weeks, whatever. 90 days, 90, that's three months. A lot could happen in three months.
That's like half a school year. No, not half a school year. Like a third of a school year. That's a long time. I feel like that's a really long time. And it just sucks. I'm frustrated. This is this is just me ranting. This is just me complaining, being a whiny brat. I hope you guys don't mind me complaining. I hope you guys see the issues. It's ridiculous and it's frustrating. It's heartbreaking seeing this having gone through what I just went through. Like I said, I take full responsibility for what happened to my channel. It's 100% my fault. I'm not blaming anybody but myself. But I am frustrated. I guess I'll end my complaining there. Well, by the time you guys are watching this, it'll be Wednesday. So Facebook stream tonight, Wednesday, 5.30 Central Standard Time. And then Thursday, the launch of Season 7, Fortnite. We're going to also simultaneously launch on Twitch. I know Facebook is a little weird, and it's, it's very personal. So if you guys aren't comfortable watching me on Facebook, I totally understand. My feelings are hurt. But hopefully, I see you all on Twitch on Thursday. I'm going to try and do a day stream if I can get the day off from work. I'm going to try and stream during the day. And I understand that Twitch might be blocked at work for some of you. That's okay, too. But I'm going to do, like, a long stream. So hopefully, you'll be able to pop in, catch me. I really want to make my first day on Twitch strong. I really want to make it good. And I need the help of you guys. I need the help of all my loyal YouTube supporters. And this isn't the end. I vow... To take down YouTube. No, I'm kidding. YouTube's great. YouTube is really awesome. Lots of great things about YouTube, but there's also lots of really, really crappy things. And I just wanted to bring to attention some of those crappy things in hopes that maybe somebody will hear this and gears will turn and something will be get done. I'm not thinking tomorrow, but maybe five years from now we won't be having these issues. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Leave a like. If you maybe enjoy this video or don't mind me ranting, uh, yeah, let's have a discussion. Let's have a discussion. Maybe you got some great ideas for how YouTube can improve. Put it all in the comments. Let's talk. Look at, look at like breeze.